Good day, folks. My name is Sean, and this is Air Photography. Today, I've got something a little bit different for you here. Now, you can't really see what I have on my desk. It just unfortunately doesn't fit within the field of view. But this is the HEQ Swan K1. This is a fixed-wing hybrid VTOL. Now, the VTOL stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing. So with this fixed-wing, unlike traditional fixed-wing aircraft, you don't need a large area for taking off and landing. This thing can take off vertically, basically in drone mode. When you get up to 30 meters, you can press a button on the controller. It will then switch over to fixed wing mode and you can continue your flight. As you can see here, when you purchase it, you do get a nice controller with it that has a built-in screen. It runs on Android and all the apps that are necessary to fly the fixed wing are preloaded on it. You can see here we have the HEQ app. Right now it's not connected, so we will hear some beeping here, so I must apologize for that. The interface is very simple. You can see here right now we're on the map view with this fixed wing you can also create missions and send the drone out quite a ways it's actually capable of flying from 35 to 40 kilometers now of course you're not going to have fpv feed at that distance but uh, you can send the drone out to do its mission and then it'll come right back down the bottom left hand corner here right now it's saying no video because they're not connected but that's your fpv feed if we click on it, you can see it'll switch over to the FPV feed. As mentioned, this fixed wing is fully GPS capable, so you have all the safety features such as hovering in place and one touch return to home. It'll also return to home if it becomes disconnected. On the top here, we have a compartment and that's where the battery connects. It comes with a 5,500 milliamp hour battery. This is a four cell battery and it allows this fixed wing to fly upwards of 60 minutes. Now, if you're in hovering mode, basically drone mode, you're only gonna get about 18 minutes worth of hovering time. And the reason being when it's in fixed wing mode, it is much more efficient with the wings, so it doesn't use as much power. The kit comes with its own battery charger. There's the lead there for connecting the charger. The battery is held in with Velcro and this top plate here to cover the battery is held in with nice strong magnets. This drone is completely modular, so that makes easy transport and storage. It does come with its own included case and everything stores nicely inside. Assembly of the Swan K1 is very easy. You can have it together in pretty well a minute. There's no leads that you have to connect. Everything is plug and play. You can see here I am out on my first flight. This is the very first time I was putting this uh, fixed wing together and uh, it was pretty easy. Everything was self-explanatory. The propellers for it are just screw on and they are marked differently with silver tops and black tops. The body of the drone is made with foam to keep it lightweight. The motor assembly and landing gear are all made of a durable plastic, but overall the complete system is very light. Now, if we take a look at the bottom of the aircraft here, I don't know if you can see that there, but there is an FPV camera built into it. Now that FPV camera is not for filming. It's strictly only to give you an FPV feed back to the controller. If you want to record video with your flight, you will have to mount a GoPro or some other action camera in the front of the nose. It's compatible with most GoPros, the Osmo Action, and even the Insta360 ONE R. However, you don't have to fly it with a camera. If you're just out learning and you want to, you don't want to risk maybe a GoPro in there while you're learning, it does come with this weighted piece of foam that does help keep the balance correct. Now one thing I do want to show you here, the GoPro Hero 9 Black is not compatible with it and it's not to do with weight or anything, it just doesn't fit properly in that cradle. You can see there the body of the GoPro is just a little too big. But just to show you here, I have a Hero 8 Black and it just fits in there nicely and then the Velcro holds it in securely. Once you're ready to fly, it's as simple as setting it up vertically. To start up the motors, all you do is pull down on the left control stick and then in. The motors will start up like most drones. To take off, all you do is press up on the left control stick. At that point, the drone is just going to hover like any traditional drone that you've flown. Now you do have to be a minimum of 30 meters up before you can switch it into fixed wing mode. Once it's in fixed wing mode, it flies pretty well like a drone. It will take some practice. Here's some footage from my very first flight with it. This this is the very first time I've flown a fixed wing, so it's a little rough, but uh, you know, generally the footage looks nice. And as I learn to fly it more, I'm sure that footage will get a little bit better. FPV video flights can be very engaging and really interesting to watch. When you're ready to come home, or if you happen to get disoriented up in the sky, all you have to do is hit the return to home button in the app, or you can use the B button on the controller. The fixed wing will come back to you and then enter back into drone mode so you can bring it down to land. As mentioned, this was my very first time flying a fixed wing and I had a lot of fun with it. I love flying camera drones and capturing content, but recently I have been having a lot of fun flying FPV drones and this is a lot of fun as well. They've made it very simple, so even if you don't have a lot of user experience flying fixed wings or even drones in general, you'll be up and flying in no time at all. And because it is a VTOL, so you can just take off and land vertically, that makes the learning 
learning curve a lot smaller because you don't need a lot of space to come in for landing. So this is just a basic introduction to the Swan K1. I plan on doing a lot of flying with it this fall, especially once we get the nice fall colors and I'll definitely be sharing my experience and my footage with you. I'll leave a link down below in the description of this video if you want to go check out their website. Well folks, that's basically it for this video. Again, this is the Swan K1 by HEQ. If you have any questions about this fixed wing, you can ask me down in the comments of this video. I'll do my best to get them answered in a timely manner. Again, if you are interested in this fixed wing, make sure you're subscribed to my channel as I will be creating more videos about it in the very near future. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It's always greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.